Hello YouTube and welcome back and today I'm here to talk about a subject that uh, a lot of people have been having a hard time dealing with um, that a, lo a lot of people they really feel very passionate and it's very very controversial and that is the race of Goku um, what race is he so there's been a lot of speculation there's been a lot of like um debates going on about this so I just kind of wanted to throw my card out there in the field and a lot of people have a problem that Goku in the film is not being played by an Asian instead he's being played by Justin Chatwin who is actually Canadian so so this raises the question is Goku Asian well the answer to that is no he's not Asian because he's actually a Saiyan and he has no Earth race. So the real question here is, is he made to look Asian or was he made to look like a white guy? Like, I don't know, an American or something. So, first, um, I'm just gonna go through some subjects and give, like, facts about those. And the first thing is that Goku Again, he's a Saiyan and he crash landed on his spaceship at a very young age in a place that is obviously Japanese inspired. It, whether it's actually Japan, we don't know, but it's obviously Japanese inspired. inspired. So, um, I guess that's point one for the argument that he is Japanese, that he's supposed to be Japanese. He's, and uh, then he's raised by. Uh, Obviously, a uh, Japanese or an, an Asian man, Asian man who is Gohan, and then after that he's given a Japanese name. Well, his original name is Kakarot, but you should know that. And he's given a Japanese name, Goku, and then after that he wears a Japanese uniform. Well, because it's it has a Japanese symbol on the back. Back. Well, yeah, all of this. So, because of all of these facts, I know you'd probably automatically say that, yes, he's definitely Japanese, but uh, let's look at this from another point of view. Um, he crash landed on a, in a Japanese inspired place, right? So, because of that, um, a Japanese man gives him a Japanese name. Well, if he crash landed somewhere else, like somewhere in Africa or somewhere in South America, just for example, he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't have a Japanese name or wear Japanese clothing, would he? He'd probably wear something and be given a name that is more um, in, intact with the surrounding that he is. So the fact that he crash landed in a Japanese inspired place really isn't a valid argument that Goku is in fact Japanese and uh, actually um, personally for me um, I've never actually um, I've never actually given any th thought as to what race I thought Goku is I, I never really considered it all these years all these years um, and frankly um, I never never honestly never in my wildest dreams expected there to be such an uproar about it about it about it. I, I just had never thought of it. So when I so when I saw that Justin Chapman was playing him, I was actually completely fine with it. And then I see all of these complaints and so I'm just trying to throw my card in on that. And um uh, frankly for me, um I I really um I guess I really just have no opinion about this because uh I, I, I can't really see anything about him that I can't really say whether he's supposed to be Japanese or whether he's supposed to be white. I can't. I can't tell. I can't say anything. So the fact that he's being played by a white guy is just not really a problem for me. In fact, the only thing about Goku that I would say is Japanese is Japanese is his hair, his spiky hair, which is which you see with other anime characters who substantially would be Japanese. So I guess that's one, but I look at him and I don't actually see a Japanese guy, but I don't necessarily see a white guy either. either.
but an, an argument that would help the side that say he is Japanese is that like he looks like Yamcha. Now when I was watching at a, at a very young age, I always thought that Goku looked like Yamcha. Like he looked really similar to Yamcha, and Yamcha is being played by a, an Asian, so probably Goku should be played by an Asian too. Maybe I I don't know, but uh, that's just my. But I always thought that they looked similar, so uh, maybe he should be played by an Asian. I don't know, but uh, I'm fine. I, I I'm fine with an Asian playing him, and I'm fine with a white guy playing him, just because I just don't think that like he has a. He, I don't think he looks like a specific race. In fact. Akira, Akira Toriyama, he says that, he said that, like, Goku wasn't made to look like a specific race, right? So, if he wasn't made to look like a specific race, um, does it really matter that a white guy is playing him? I don't know. I don't know, you decide. And, uh, you tell me. But, I mean, I mean, yes, he has Japanese features, he has a Japanese feature, but I guess he would also have white features if he's not made to look like a specific race. So, um, there you go. You tell me about that. And, uh, by the way, uh, also, when he goes Super Saiyan, when he goes Super Saiyan, like, um, to me, I think he looks more white when he's a Super Saiyan. But that's just when he's a Super Saiyan. That's just, um, when he's in his regular form, um, he doesn't really strike me as a white guy, necessarily, either. But, uh, but as a Super Saiyan, I'd say he's more, he's leaning more to the, like, Caucasian side. Anyway, um, well, when you think about it, this is also like not the first time. Let's say, let's say Goku is Japanese. Well, this isn't exactly the first time we've had like somebody from a different race portraying some a character who isn't the same race as the actor. Um, and a couple of examples of that are in the fir the first X Men movie. X uh, actually, in the first two X Men movie, the actor who plays Toad in the first X Men movie. Ray Park is Asian, is Asian, but in the comics, Toad is, and the cartoons, Toad is not an Asian, and nobody complained about that. Yeah, and uh, another character in the uh, X Men films, Colossus, he's actually Russian, but in X Two, he's played by a Canadian, and again, nobody complained about that. But they look alike, so I guess that was okay. Oh, and Batman. The, in the new Batman series film, you know, Batman is obviously supposed to be like from America, I guess, but Christian Bale is actually British. Nobody's complaining about that again. And the Joker, the Joker, the Joker, we've had three different live action portrayals of the Joker. The first was by Cesar Romero, who's actually Cuban. The second was Jack Nicholson, who's uh, American. And the third and probably most famous is Heath Ledger, who was. Australian. So you have a Cuban, an American, and an Aussie playing the same character. We've had three different races play the same character. I mean, is Goku being played by a Caucasian such a bad thing? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Um, again, I've told you what I think that I I don't really think he has a specific race because Akira Toriyama said to himself. So you tell me your ideas. And actually, and but I am happy with Justin Chapman playing that. Absolutely. And I'm, I posted a picture on the link over there. So check over there. Look at that picture. That is the picture that sells it for me. And you can actually really magnify it and close up if you click on it. And it's that picture that really sells it for me. And honestly, he looks like Goku there. So uh, again, tell me what you think. And bye.